because you're head. Right, well, we've come to Epworth this morning. Uh, we hope to show you around uh, a number of places this morning. We've started with Epworth here. Uh, the idea this morning is to show you some bush pumps in operation and then some family wells in operation and also some low-cost latrines in operation. And this, this first uh, site here is in the middle of Epworth and one of the things we've been doing over the last few years is to design uh, uh, more modern versions of the bush pump. And of course all bush pumps, as we know, uh, are, are very robust and this particular model is known as the B-type bush pump. And when these uh, designs are made, we have to test them under very heavy duty conditions. And this site here is, is one of a few heavy duty situations which we found in Epworth. And this particular pump has been operating for a few years now, and it's often subjected to nearly 24 hours of use a day. Um, you can see here there's a huge queue. Um, maybe I should just move this side here. So you can see the pump. This has been, often, this has been used continuously for, for some time now, hasn't it? Right, for quite a long, continuously for quite a long time. In fact, since last year, um, it has been going almost non-stop 24 hours a day. But I've noticed that there's a slight drop in the number of users uh, since last week, possibly because of the showers we have had. Yes. Uh, this is probably half of the normal queue that we have seen around here. But it's a very big queue actually. So it's quite a long queue and this is a similar queue on the other bush pump which is just uh, quite close to the site here. This other bush pump was fitted because the first one, the queues were absolutely enormous. But you can see here that the queue on this one is also very long. And of course our main interest with this work is to see exactly how durable these pumps are. And if there are faults that develop under these conditions, then we can put, we can correct them. <laughs> strong steel stand and the hardwood rock. This, this hardwood rock is usually made of teak. Some would be made of makani, but it, this one is made of teak. And most are made of teak. Very, very durable indeed. At the back of the block, there's a series of holes drilled in the block, boiled in oil, it's a tremendously long life, usually up to two or three decades usually. And then you have the pump stand. And then the, uh, this front bracket here is connected onto the pump rod. And here you have a system of floating washers. You see that when the pump is used, the rod moves about a little bit from side to side and backwards and forwards. And, and it, this is a rubber buffer here to avoid a hard end knock. And inside, underneath here, there's a floating washer. 
Now this particular system here hasn't been replaced for some time. I would think it's been here at least two years, probably two three years. And we have deliberately not changed it. And you can see that the rubber has worn. It doesn't impair the operation of the pump at all. And if I carefully show you the, this other washer, that's also worn. But you can see in fact that this, no, it doesn't impair the operation at all. If I show you carefully the other, there's another one inside there, which is, um, which is these washers prevent uh, things going, anything going down there. And what actually happens is the rod is able to move within the rising main or the pipe that comes up. And there's a direct link between the block and, and the steer of the string of rod which connects to the piston. This is fitted onto a three inch cylinder. And as you can see, the output of water is quite considerable. It's about 40 litres a minute. And this particular pump, because it operates for so many hours a day, I, I, I'm fairly sure it must be over 20 hours a day, and the staff frequently tell us that it goes up to 24 hours a day. It's almost continuous, absolutely continuous operation. It can pump at least 30 cubic litres a day under this So, I mean, for us, the, the testing pumps, this is a perfect site. And most boreholes in this country do not have this sort of situation at all. This is one of those that does. If there's any weakness of the of the pump itself, it will show up in such a place. Non-stop, all day, all night, just coming and coming and coming. And the, it's a huge volume of water. I mean, I really don't actually know how many people it serves, though, do we? I don't see. Over, must be some thousand altogether. Up. We're seeing over the up to twelve o'clock.